Don't worry, chat. We're definitely focusing on white piece. Yeah, um, no, we're not looking to win. We're looking to just get out of this war, I think. <laughs> failing. Does it mean that we don't love it? <laughs> like, we're not crazy, jeez. Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to another weekly Crusader Kings 3 stream. As always, I am your friendly neighborhood community manager, Troy. With me today is Stacy, and Matt is waiting in the wings for me to, to cue him on. I just didn't have a chance to talk to you guys for a couple weeks and missed you, so I figured I would come and say hi. Ah, uh, yeah, so hi. Um, lots of stuff happened this week. We did release a DD. Uh, DDs are back for now. Uh, we do have another one next week, so be ready for that. But, a uh, little bit of conversation about that. Uh, we did have some changes in the team. We're adding new people. There's also a lot of conversation going on. Just a friendly reminder that we brought DDs back to help communicate news to you and to make sure that you were aware of all the situations going on with the game. This isn't always big news, but it is always news that we find important and impactful for you. And part of our transparency promise to you when we started this game as a core value was to make sure that we were communicating in a timely, open, friendly, and honest manner. One of the things that we also would like to mention with this is that while we are opening, openly communicating with you, it is not necessarily a we are going to do this on this date. We try to give you guys the best timelines and the best dates as possible, while also making sure that we keep any and all promises we make. So, if you're on the forums, if you're on our Discord, we definitely welcome and encourage your discussion and your conversation. What that does not mean is that is a time for you to uh, attack or berate the community. So, Please have conversations, but please keep it respectful. This goes for the chat as well. If you are in chat for Paradox Interactive during our stream, we are here to play the game with you and to have an open, friendly communication with you. So if you have questions, definitely ask them. But remember, if you have a problem with the game, we are doing our best to make the game the best experience possible for you. So each and every individual on our team is here doing that job. Please be respectful. Please be open-minded. Please understand that we are doing the best we can because we know you're doing the best you can. So without much further ado, look forward to all of our streams. We also have a special Friday stream for our community stream. So check that out. We will continue with our Sultanate Sorrows series today, as well as next week, and I'm going to hand it over to Matt because I think he's ready to, to rock and roll in the wings uh, in the meantime. Thank you all in the community for tuning in and making it what it is today. Thank you for our Discord supporting us, making sure we have conversation, and thank you to all of our social media and forum users. Without your feedback and understanding, we would not be where we are today. In the meantime... I'll see you guys later. Yes, welcome and to our wonderful little cult, the cult of uh, Sandstorm Nurgle. Yeah, you can make uh, donations to us online to, at uh, sandstorm.nurgle.com. <laughs> All right. Oh, I guess I'll let you drive now, Matt. I'll stop just moving. No, the, the mouse was moving. I was, I was getting scared. I was, like, I was like, oh no, that's just Stacy. All right, Is so. <laughs> Let's have a look. Where did we last leave off then? Uh, we had, uh, you know, a couple of little wars, civil wars. We expanded a little bit. Sandstorm Nurgle is incredibly diplomatic. Makes lots of friends. Very, very chatty type of guy. Uh, what do you, where do you think we should go from here then, Stace? Yeah, so we're also having a little bit of a Henry VIII sitch in that we've got nothing but daughters. So um, we have one wife slot left. Uh, you know, we can look into how to use that um, I think expanding up a little bit more is it's Sardinia that we have a little bit of, yeah. Yes, oh, um, that's where we last left off. Uh, Italy had just oh, yeah. declared war on us, yes. True. Uh, we cannot forget that the Italian queen tried to befriend us, but then we mansplained something to her. Was it friendship or was it something it was, else? It was, we explained diplomacy to her, and then she said, I don't like how you've explained diplomacy to her to me let me explain now, war to you i will now attack you well the alternative was explain friendship to her which i thought sounded even more cringy than explain diplomacy at least we are good at diplomacy we're not very good at friendship we have none uh so anyways now we're being attacked by italy and that's how that went yeah, so I'm going to call in a bunch of our allies, I think. Uh, yeah, it's totally fine, because we have the ultimate player, Matt, at the wheel. Why Why must you set me up for failure like <laughs> it's this? It's going to be just fine. 
Uh, chats, our brother's name is Darude, but we are Sandstorm and Nurgle. Please respect the Th name. There's that we a have difference. Chosen. I'm noticing that all of our allies are our vassals, so we might be having a slightly rough time of it, I think. Because she's yeah. got more troops than we do by a decent amount. So let's go and uh, sell out one of our daughters or something to yes. get an alliance, I think. Although we're already in a war, so people aren't as excited about that. But Ooh, the Umayyad Sultanate is looking for a... That's pretty good. He's pretty... Yeah. He's pretty strong. Welcome to marrying this is. guy. <laughs> uh, this Sultanate is also pretty decently sized. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the Umiyad Sultanate is a pretty good choice. He's got three and a half thousand soldiers. That's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it is our first three daughter. Four. Maybe we can try yeah. and marry out the second one instead. Uh, girls can't inherit anyways. It doesn't matter too much. But That's true. But also, maybe the first one we can uh, at least continue our line if we get no kids. Chat asking if a queen can mansplain, and I think maybe she queensplained instead. Queensplained, uh, That's what I do warfare. when I explain something to you, Matt, I queensplain. That, I mean, that's what you claim it is, uh, but, you know, I, I'm not convinced. Okay. Cool to arms, he will accept, beautiful, you know, we can sell out our last daughter as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's launched a holy war, can't we ask all our fellow Muslims? Uh... I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, what if the all, all of our uh, our holy friends would join us. Uh, I mean, no one's joined so far, so you know we can go around asking and begging, but <laughs> I see, I see how it is. No one's, no one's decided they like us enough yet to come with us, Stace, I'm afraid. Oh, chances if you, we could just convert to Christianity to end the war. Yeah, but that would be what the, that's a quitter move, though, like... That would introduce a lot of new problems. Yeah, that would introduce the slight problem of us not being Christian, and none, well, us being Christian and none of our land being even remotely Christian. I love the idea of getting a declaration of war letter, though, and then just being like, you know, Michael Scott in the office when he declares bankruptcy, where you're just like, I declare Christianity. <laughs> I mean, it's one way of doing it. I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced of its merits, but you know. Actually, you... I'm Christian. You can't, you can't fight me. Oh, oh well, okay. I don't know. It's we'll have we'll keep that in our back pocket just in case. Yeah, it's, she... it's it's a last resort, you know, emergency Christianity conversion. Oh, she wants everything in Sardinia. Yeah, which isn't like the end of the world if we lose it, but it's also not great. Uh, we can become a diplomat soon, which can be quite nice. Uh, so yeah, life's a little bit rough in the the lands of uh, Sandstorm Nurgle. He's uh, having some slight struggles. I like that every time I say. That name, like, Nurgle in the booth looks over at me, and he's like, I'm not sure if you're talking about me or the character. I know, we have to stop naming every character after just people on the stream. Do we? Do we, though? I feel or like it's... what. What's a bigger honor than being named uh, in one of our streams? Oh, that's a lot of people. We should maybe not go there. Hmm. Where are our allies and their troops? Not here. Uh Okay. Very far away, so we should let's, bounce. Let's, let's bounce. Uh, let's get out of there, I think. We don't have a lot of money to fight this war either. No, we do not. Losing Sardinia, not great, but it's, you know, not the end of the world. And our allies are arriving a bit more now, so we could probably... We just have so little money that I don't want to just raise up and start marching instantly. We have another daughter. Uh, what should we call her? We can call her Aisha after... No. Uh, no, no, no. Wife's we don't care about her suggestions. <laughs> uh, chats, what are your suggestions? Yeah, what are your suggestions for uh, our new daughter's name? The name Aisha. It's actually very pretty. But I want to see chat's daughter name suggestions. Uh, uh, McPoopface. McPoopface is it's an uh, it's an interesting name to give to our beloved daughter. Is that, is that historical? <laughs> I think that, I mean that sounds pretty historically accurate. You know, a little poop face. Uh, Posh Spice. Posh uh, Spice. <laughs> Cabajets. Uh, Alliance McBates. Sundown. I mean, I like Alliance McBait. That's, uh, that's pretty on brand for what this kid is going to be. Uh, Alliance 
mukbait. We love to get them alliances. Our you loving know, daughter. Give our daughters any nice names anymore. They're all named like. Oh, we've got Hannibalia, uh, month of next DLC, <laughs> bane of next DLC, and Alliance McBait. Which I think these are some pretty good uh, kid names. We can see if we can get any another alliance out of this one. Uh, ooh, this Sultanate as well. Sure, let's get another Sultan. It's it you know sucks for her that she's being betrothed to a 62 year old man as a zero year old child, but way before she has to realize this. Exactly. So you know, handsomely in alliances. Exactly, and they're all pretty okay with uh, joining us in our call to war as well because it's a. Uh, a defensive holy war. There are no one we can get some, or no one we can get some quick cash. That's what I was wondering. Like, we don't really, you know, we don't have a pope that we can beg for money from, so uh, not really. And you know, we're a we're a clan, so it's all based off of opinion. So we can try and sw we're swaying our vassals a little bit more. Uh, like, this guy is not paying us much at all, which which kind of kind of hurts. Zero. Zero per month. Oh, right, it's because they they want uh they desire wait what title are they desiring? We might be able to give it to them, uh if it's something we don't care about. This county. You know what? Yeah, you can have that crappy county. I don't want it. Uh, grant a vassal. Yes, there we go. Take it. Stop being angry at us. Love us a bit more now. Do you like us now? Yeah, slightly, slightly. If you could pay us some of that money you have, that would be great. Guess we'll suck up to you instead. In the hopes that you eventually give us cash. Chat, we were playing as the evil brother, but, but this is the evil brother's son now. Sandstorm. Yeah. Sandstorm, Nurgle, Ibn Ibrahim of the... Aglabid Grand Emirate, which I think is a pretty fancy title, if I'm being honest. Uh, should we maybe join our allies? Uh, we're not going to get there in time, even if we do, so I think we're just going to watch them get smashed instead, to be honest. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. It's about as I expected on the grounds we didn't have the rest of our allies sailing over yet. Well, at least Troy has recovered from the smallpox. He's, you know, somewhat disfigured forever now, but, you know, it's, it's not that bad. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise up our troops and I'm gonna try and sail around to Italy and see if I can take over their capital from over there. They live in Sardinia now. Uh, I think they did. Maybe they messed up our troops or our allies' uh, forces. And no, that's oh, no. more people arriving to Sardinia. Okay, okay, okay. Because of the yeah, they got slightly messed up. So not going great for our allies. Let's sail to Italy and see if we can, like, smash. Oh, we've got another couple of uh, thousand troops it's joining there. Don't you think, think it's going to be enough to win over here, though? I think we should go and, like, attack somewhere in Italy, try to lure away their troops, and then try to retake the um, uh, war. Objective. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. Like, let's go all the way up here. I would just prefer that we don't get stack wiped and absolutely crushed, you know? You know the feel? Yeah, don't worry chat, we're definitely focusing on white peace. Yeah, um, no, we're not looking to win, we're looking to just get out of this war, I think. Failing, does it mean that we don't love it? <laughs> like, we're not crazy, jeez. Right, yeah. Here we go, let's siege down this area now. Siege weapons. Yeah, the lack of siege weapons does sting a little bit, but we're, curr oh, we're currently... Okay. Uh, researching them so just gotta take that siege progress bit by bit you know allies are gonna come join us maybe they have siege weapons they better maybe they're cool modern allies um i i, I don't think they i don't think they are i have a terrible <laughs> feeling that they are not that cool or that modern they're gonna sail pretty fast i think to where we are that's fine as long as we can siege this down first it will at least be the defender in whatever battle happens. And we're not too far off. Uh, okay, nope. Yeah, they're gonna make it there. <sighs> okay. oh, you will no. lose decisively. That's not great. <laughs> That's not great at all. <laughs> okay, chat, taking bets. What is the percentage chance of our good friend Matt 
winning this war. I mean, it's it's not looking great for us. Hopefully our ally decides to come and help us. But, you know, my... No, he just decided to... Oh, no, maybe. He's con he's not sure. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Oh. I think we're going to lose anyways. But, uh... I think we might. Uh, especially with that extra 2,000 troops coming in. I yeah. think that our, our chances are not not great, I'll be honest. Um, someone died. Don't know who. Don't care. Mm. Uh, chat asks if the skull is a bad thing. Uh, yeah. It's not a great thing. That's, uh, that definitely, that definitely stung. Um, lots Mister. of, lots of death. Does the skull mean we're winning or losing? It, it means that we're winning. That's exactly what the skull means. Okay, I think we have two options here. We can declare Christianity or we can uh, just lose Sardinia. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, our allies decided they'd rather fight in their own war than help us, which personally I think is pretty disrespectful, but you know, yeah. kind of is it is what it is. Oh, oh what's so happening we're... now? Oh, our rival died. That's nice. Yeah, There's so always we're... an upside, you know. We hate Badra. Yeah, I think we might just surrender this war. Because she's wrecking our face. We have, yeah. in theory, we have more soldiers, but I just don't know where our allies have decided to take any of their forces. Because it's clearly not anywhere near where we, where we are. Theoretical soldiers to not be super helpful. Yeah, I'd rather like some practical soldiers uh, instead of theoretical sure soldiers. Immediately, as soon as we enter there. Look at them. Yeah, I, I know. I know. They're coming for us anyway. I'm just wondering if we can get, we can force them into like a river crossing or letting us defend somewhere. We still have uh, sixth of their troops. I'm not sure it'll matter. I mean, yeah, but it's better than nothing. Okay, well, at least they've buggered off down there for now. We can try a siege one thing. <laughs> uh, hmm. Now they're in our house. They, they are in our house. This is true. But, you know, Stacy, we're going to remain somewhat hopeful. Uh, we're, we're not... It's not over yet. Much. Uh, and so only have one arm, or what's happening with that? Yeah, yeah, he's he's maimed. He's only got one arm, Stacy. What's wrong with that? Why why would you judge him for that? It's not his fault. I wasn't judging him. I was just wondering because he had a sleeve, so I was confused. I mean, you know, no need. No, poor guy's lost an arm. That's bad enough. Now you're now you're taking the piss out of him. Now you're judging him like that. So rude. I would never judge our greatest chancellor. I think he's actually our mediocrest chancellor. But... He is. He's pretty decent. He had 19 diplomacy. That's pretty good. They're already sailing towards us. Yeah, so. I know. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Totally. You guys hear it? heard it here first. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Totally, totally fine. We all good. We're not good. We're probably going to get hit. If I see them... Uh... Well, we got... Okay, come on. You fuckers better march over here. All right. Our daughter's come of age. Oh, Hannibalia. Um, Hannibalia. We can marry him... Marry her to... Another emirate. Uh, that one kind of sucks. All of these are little guys. So I kind of, kind of not too inclined to ally. I mean, they've got troops though, so I guess you know. All right, marry this sixty-eight-year-old dude. Just give us more troops, woman. That's all we want. Our allies must eventually come to us. I'm wondering if we can, if we can back out of this siege. We can uh, try and meet up with this like four K stack of allies that are coming our way some allies there excellent welcome to this war join us please enjoy hannibalia like let's come on okay go go wait wait wait, wait, wait. There, can we defeat them in detail how many no, definitely okay. not those those guys are screwed they are providing a worthy distraction so that these other like four thousand troops can come to us that's what they're doing, which I think is a very noble sacrifice of them. In my, you know, in my humble for... opinion. <laughs> Come on, lads! Chat throwing mad shade. They said at least Matt tried to defend Sardinia when the Romans came for Sicily. Stacy just gave it. Uh, Ouch! Oh. Yeah. Stacy, wow. were you were you putting on a poor performance and shaming our family? No, no I did the math. And didn't want to fight a losing war. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's uh. That's that's one way of phrasing it. You know. Sorry, that I'm so good at math, Matt. Really? Are you? Name all the numbers, huh? 
You you spent all of our money. You're so good at math, why don't you just name every number? Jeez. You name every number. Uh, no. I'm, I don't have to prove my worth here, jeez. Chat saying no wonder our allies aren't signing up to help when we just use them as a worthy distraction. Where are they going? They're coming with us. Those ones are retreating because they got messed up, but these ones are coming with us. We're going to siege one thing and it will succeed. I promise. Thanks for being a worthy distraction, guys. Look. Sorry about all the death. <laughs> I have a fort level that's too... Because see, there we go. Look, we have allies now. Things are going... Things are happening. That one's just standing there, but fine. I mean, Stacy, it's, you know, they're, 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 they're not wanting to take too much attrition, right? And we're trying to siege this down, and we're already taking some attrition, so... True. <laughs> it's a tough life being an ally of me in CK3, okay? It's a tough, tough life. I, I admit that. I acknowledge my shortcomings. Chat's saying they're never gonna be an ally with Matt. Wow, the disrespect. We just won a uh, battle against 45 dudes. Fuck yeah. A win for the good guys. I mean, are we that much more good than these guys? I mean... Like, we are the deep down. The there we go, got another siege going on. See, look, things are going better now, Stacy. Once we you became, you know, like 9,000 9, to 3,000 in troop composition fighting, we, we did a lot better. Listen, I've never claimed to be an expert at playing this game. War of attrition. War of a lot of attrition. See, th 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 what, what the Queen of Italy didn't expect is that we were going to pimp out our daughters for every alliance possible. Yeah. And that was her underestimating us, you know? Ooh, we can get a dynasty legacy now. Woohoo! Ooh, hmm. chat, how are we feeling? There's so many good ones. Uh, personally, I love uh, Glory. I love uh, Blood, of course. Classic. Um, you are a big Blood fan. Yeah, I like Guile because I like to play uh, as a, an, an intriguer. An awful, what's dreadful chat? person. Chats, what what's, uh, road should we go down here? Uh, do... yeah, what, what's your favorite Dynasty legacy for us to go with here, chat? We can uh, take a look. Someone says kin, large skilled families. I mean, we ha we can have multiple wives, so large families can work That's for true. Us. Then what else we get from there? Dynasty members get better education, less mm -hmm. complications. I mean, yeah, we can go for that. Uh, we can Lots go for... Blood votes of blood as well, but we always go for blood. I think we should yeah, do kin. We can go for kin for some bounteous loins. I was about to say, also, because is there any funnier... Uh, sounding option than bounteous loins. <laughs> bounteous loins is definitely uh. Because we need those sons. We need those. We do need some sons from our bounteous loins. <laughs> Sorry guys, we'll do blood again next time. But blood is a very fun one. I mean, blood is, blood is great. It's a classic. I mean, the the dynasty legacies are one of one of the things I really like from uh, CK3 compared to CK2. <laughs> Just. Un I want unlock the loins written on a t-shirt. Unlock the loins! Yeah, we need to start selling more merch again, man. We need to get some of the awful things we've said in this uh, these playthroughs on shirts. It's the only way forward. A giant shirt saying unlock the loins would be <laughs> very <laughs> good. We must yeah. unlock the loins! <laughs> see, see, things are going slightly better now, chat. It's alright, it's alright. Alright, we're, we're sieging down. We're making our way over to the capital, slowly but surely. If I had a penny for every additional percentage of war score that gave us, I would have four pennies. Nope. I mean, that's four more <laughs> pennies than you have right now, huh? I think when they hold the war targets, we're gonna lose ground too quickly. I think we have to... We gotta go to... Sardinia. I mean, we can... We can... We can try and sail over. Oh, wait, someone who died. Uh... Our wife died. Oh no! I guess we'll just have to replace her with another wife. <laughs> <laughs> Rip in pieces. Was it our babysitter? Or was it a different one? I don't think it was the babysitter. I think it was someone else. Fine. It was whoever Malek she is. is. Out never having a child. Malek. Malek. All right. So we can. What's what's the what's their war score gain mostly from? Sieges. Okay. All right, fine. We'll we'll sail over. We have vaguely enough money, and we will try and take back our stuff. 
and hopefully the AI decides that it's a good idea for them to follow us. Which I think they are doing, so that's nice. Because as much as I would enjoy just sieging into Italy, that war score ain't gonna help itself. I have no idea what happened with this war to suddenly put it at 100%. They uh, must have caught the... Yeah. They must have the, the I, I assume so, but that's great. That was a, a fun war that we were taking absolutely zero part in, uh, but claimed to be doing very useful and helpful. Uh, what should we... You know, alright, we can... Uh, we can educate you. You're a you're a genius month of the next DLC. Wow, she's nine and she already has like eleven and twelve in stats. Damn. That's pretty that's pretty good. Too bad we can't marry her. And Bane of the next DLC, ah, eh, she kinda sucks a little bit. That's fine. Uh, Bane is only smart. We'll we'll educate you as well. We are we are a very educationable person. We, look at that diplomacy. Oh, beautiful. Alright. There we go, and our, our allies are following us to go and help siege a little bit, are they? No, come on, please. Thank come you. On. Thank you very please. much. Please, we need you. <laughs> they're coming, they're coming. We need and love you. Bit by bit. Yeah, okay, I think when we retake this, uh, we'll see some turnaround, guys. We should see a pretty good turnaround from the war score. If Matt actually manages to white piece this, we all have to give him a round of applause. Yes, exactly. Counting on new chats. Oh no, month of the next DLC. Plays with other children. Someone tried to push her over. Monthly. Should she become forgiving, <laughs> wrathful, or fickle? Um, wrathful is... Wrathful, okay. Do it. Oh. It's fine. We're a little stressed. <laughs> oh, period. Mental breaks, dark thoughts. We can come in provenant. No, I like money. Uh, we can get get some hashish, boy. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, I think that's a clearer choice there. We're gonna light up, and that's how we're gonna calm down after the hard day fighting the Queen of Italy. I mean, I'm from Canada, so I know. It's it's good vibes. Exactly. <laughs>